तो हम लोग गाइज आज हम देखने वाले हैं ऑयलर एंगल्स तो देखिए ऑयलर एंगल्स का कंसेप्ट बेसिकली ये मास्टर्स के लिए यूज़ होता है एंड हायर क्वालिफिकेशन में हमें देखने को मिलता है इन क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स ओके क्लासिकल में ये पढ़ाया जाता है तो द थिंग इज दैट कि हमने पढ़ा कई जगह से होता है टीचर्स भी पढ़ाते हैं लेकिन ऑयलर एंगल में कन्फ्यूज़न आ ही जाता है कि किसके अबाउट रोटेशन हो रहा है कौन क्या है लाइक हमें बहुत ज़्यादा कन्फ्यूज़न हो जाते हैं तो सबसे पहले आप ट्राई कीजिए मैं जो आपको बता रहा हूँ ना उसको ध्यान से सुनिएगा ठीक है थोड़ी देर करके देर आर थ्री रोटेशन ओयलर एंगल इज नॉट ए बिग डील ओके देर आर ओनली थ्री रोटेशन जो आपको बेसिकली जो टेंथ ट्वेल्थ में हमें पढ़ाए होते हैं कि जेड के रेस्पेक्ट में रोटेट करेंगे कोर्डिनेट एक्सिस को तो क्या बनेगा लाइक ये हमें बताया होता है ना कि इस इसको हमें इस पॉइंट के अबाउट रोटेट करना है तो क्या मैट्रिक्स बनता है तो वी नो दैट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स रोटेशन मैट्रिक्स ओके सो वी विल जस्ट यूज दैट data okay not going to like in the deeper side that is very easy okay to understand so we have three rotations first is phi second is theta and third is sin so phi is called precision precision angle okay theta is called nodation angle and the sin is called body angle okay there are three rotation we will rotate and the euler angle concept is that ki ab koi bhi jo two rotations hai टू रोटेशन है वो कंसिक्यूटिवली एक एक्सेस के रेस्पेक्ट में नहीं कर सकते आपको लाइक एक रोटेशन अगर जेड में किया तो सेकंड रोटेशन आपको वाई या एक्स में करना पड़ेगा फिर आप थर्ड कर सकते हैं जेड में लाइक कंसिक्यूटिवली आप एक साथ एक ही रेस्पेक्ट एक एक्सेस के रेस्पेक्ट में नहीं कर सकते दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग ओके देन वी आर गोइंग टू लाइक अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस ओके सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग देख एट फर्स्ट आवर एम इज दैट प्रिसीजन एंगल ओके सो वी आर से दैट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड वी आर रोटेटिंग द कोर्डिनेट एक्सेस तो एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन एंड वाई वन एक्स इज रोटेटेड बाय फाइव एंगल टिल हेयर एंड वाई इज रोटेटेड बाय वाई वन विद फाइव एंगल ओके दिस इज द फ्री सीजन एंगल नेक्स्ट रोटेशन इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वन विच इज गोट बाई फर्स्ट रोटेशन ओके विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस वील रोटेट सो नाउ Our x1 is x2 is constant. Like my, my final x2 is equal to x1 because we are rotating with respect to x1. Okay, I can understand. Visualize also it. Okay, so we will rotate this y1 to here, and we I write y2, and this is z2. Okay, in the third rotation, my z2 and z and z2 is constant. Okay, that with respect to z2, I will rotate the frame. So, and like make a picture. That is Z2 is equal to Z prime. This is my final answer. This is my final rotated frame. So Z prime I am rotating in the final. Now okay. again, like prime quantities are final, final rotating frame. So with respect to this, I will rotate, and Y2 will transform like in Y dash, and X2 is transform like in X dash. That's my fully picture. Now I will uh, mathematically in some calculus, doing some calculation for getting the primed frame from Unprimed frame, unprimed frame. Okay, that's very simple. So you have to just like three calculation. You have just three calculation. First of all, what we will do, we will do the precision angle calculation. So let's uh, do it. We have the like I one, K I one cap, J one cap, and K one cap. We know from the basic like if we constant the z axis, then what's the transformation matrix we know? So and these are I one J one I one J one K one are the represented by the precision angle transformation. Okay, so this is simple. The matrix is cos phi and sin phi and zero. That is minus sin phi and cos phi and zero 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 one. That's very basic. Okay, this is my first rotation. Okay, try to understand. This is called precision angle. Second rotation is what from I one J one K one. I will get I two J two and K two. Okay, I two J two and K two. For now, my constant axis is what? Let mm, see in the picture. The first rotation is about Z, and the second rotation is about X one. So when we rotate about X one, then what is the y, uh, what is our uh, rotation matrix? You know, you know, na. In the element twelve, we will see. Okay, so let's see. That is one, one, zero. No, no, it is zero. Okay, one zero 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 zero, and cos theta. This is sine theta. Somehow this is minus sine theta, and this is cos theta again. Okay, that's the transformation matrix for the 
uh, which axis x1 like if with respect to x when we rotate the coordinate axis then we will get this from where, uh, what we get this uh, we get from i1 and j1 and k1 and above i did not write i am writing now i j and k very simple now and uh, this is called the notation angle rotation notation okay and the third which is the body angle rotation body angle is can the kya hoga ki hame sin ke respect mein rotate karna hai to sin kisko ghumayenge dekhiye again hum jo second rotation ke baad mein hame jo z2 mila yahan pe uske respect mein hum rotate kar rahe hain to this is y prime this is x prime and this is also then prime okay so now we are writing the third rotation which is uh, i prime and j prime and k prime that we are getting when we rotate about z and to then the second and the third matrix will be same as first matrix because in the first rotation we rotated the frame with respect to z only okay so that is equal to cos sin 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 minus sin sin cos sin 0 0 1 0 0 that's the matrix and we are got from i2 j2 and k2 very simple okay now you done the transformation all transform three transformation now let's get a picture we get i i j k from what the last is i dash z dash k dash so we are writing like something i prime j prime and k prime what is this this is an transformation matrix we don't know this we don't know right now but i j k we can write this because three rotations are made and from this we we'll get this so what are the rotations in the like in the matrix and the basic concepts we had know that we are uh, saying it is a we are just saying it a what is the a now a is the rotations so first we uh, rotated about z axis which we are denoting d matrix this is d matrix and second we are saying it's c and uh, the third is a okay now uh, it is we are saying v because a is called a final rotation so a is equal to what b c d first rotation is z second rotation is x again third rotation is z so that is our a and final rotated transform uh, tra rotation matrix we will get a okay so what is the a here we are calculating so just writing i am just writing the like what is the b b is why um, b is our third rotation which is body angle rotation so we will write the matrix or sign sin sin minus sin sin or sin 0 0 1 0 0 that's very basic this is b now c matrix is what 1 0 0 0 0 cos theta sin theta because mm, like b rotation is made by uh, c rotation okay, this is c rotation not one out here this is c rotation so c rotation is uh, with respect to theta over so oh, that is theta now minus sin theta and then cos theta What is our first rotation? The same as third. Okay, just uh, like putting sine with respect to theta. Five, uh, five, five. Cos five, sine five, zero, zero, one, and this will become cos five, and this will become sine five, but negative zero, zero. That's the last matrix. What we got? We got three matrices. We will multiply these three, and what we get uh, after all? Okay, we just mm, try to multiply these last two. After that, we will multiply this one. So it will become cos sine 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 zero minus sine sine cos sine zero 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 one. Okay, very simple. After multiplying these things, we are getting the matrix. I am just writing, just uh, type yourself because this is very easy multiplication. Basic of tenth matrix, tenth math. Okay. So this is cos five. This is sine five. This is zero, and uh, this will become minus cos five. sin cos theta over cos theta sin theta this is plus cos theta sin theta uh, i'm doing some mistake one second and this should become cos theta cos phi this is sin theta now this should become sin theta sin phi minus sin theta cos phi and this is cos theta This is my uh, multiplication of C and D matrix. B is left. Okay, uh, now I multiply B. So that's our word. Step. 
So after multiplying these whole things, what you are getting? So we will get a matrix which is A. So we are saying this matrix is cos phi and cos sine and cos phi minus cos theta. Uh, I can't write in my open whiteboard, but I will try cos theta sine sine and sine phi. This is my first element of the matrix. Okay. In the second element, and what I will write minus sine sine cos phi minus cos sine cos theta sine phi. In the third element, what I will write sine theta sine phi. This is my first uh, first column. Okay. Now in the second column of the matrix, I will write cos sine sine phi plus sine sine cos theta cos phi okay and the second element is minus sine 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 phi plus cos sine cos theta cos sine cos phi okay and the third element is minus sine theta cos phi now the last row is what meaning mm -hmm. last column is there to and sine sine theta cos sine sine theta and the after third is cos theta is our transformation matrix the final matrix okay and many of you will say that they are